welcome to Clemic Performance Method video newsletter, the VNL. You'll get it on your email. Uh, watch these, please, because we do go over a lot of important information um, and, and, and stuff that's going to make you perform better. That's the main purpose of it, too. But really, our announcements, it's easier than typing everything. And right oh, now. yeah. So it's much easier for us. Um, it won't be long. They're less than 20 minutes, and um, they're packed with a lot of good information. Pretty much weekly, if not bi-weekly at the, at the least. So um, anyway, so we're back. We're back from Annapolis. Coach donning his gear right here, looking good. He's actually wearing the shorts too. I'm actually not in <laughs> in a uniform right now. Everything I I'm, I'm, have is being washed. I brought everything down, yeah. all my KPM stuff down. Um, but they treated us like gold down yeah. there. It was, uh, it was amazing. The, the campus, the coaches, the staff, everything, everyone there, the traditions – Go ahead. Tell yeah, you know, uh, seeing what I saw down there made me kind of understand, you know, even how much cooler it is t to be a part of something like that, like Army, Navy, Air Force, like any of those academies is there's there's nothing like it. There's I don't think that there's any other college in the world that can come close to that that's not an academy, not like an Ivy League school, nothing. Cause the amount of discipline that those kids have everybody's dressed in the nines and the uniforms that they're assigned uh whether they're active duty non-active duty students you know uh freshman sophomore junior senior it was uh, a great thing to see uh and the american you know culture was at an all-time high there the morale was at an all-time high there patriotism was live there which you don't see that very much on college campuses anymore you know you don't see many pro-american anything on college campuses so it was very refreshing to see that uh, a lot of the kids down there were faith-based, uh, you know, held faith close to them. Uh, the chapel was amazing. Their facilities were amazing. They were right on the Chesapeake. And every single kid, I thought, was extremely helpful. Everybody wanted to help. Everybody wanted to know how we could be accommodated better if we didn't like our hotel room, if we wanted to go see more on the campus, if we wanted to see less on the campus, where we wanted to go, where we wanted to hang out, who we wanted to meet. Uh, they took us everywhere and they opened up all the doors and I've been to a lot of colleges and that was definitely my favorite visit. Yeah, they were helpful to the point where I was like, I'm not evaluating you. Like, yeah. you don't have to, yeah, not yeah. to say anything to you and they didn't care. It was like, yeah. couldn't couldn't be more helpful. Like, yeah. people like kind of like Cruz, honestly. Yeah. Like, everyone was yeah. like Cruz. Like yeah. yeah, Cruz is cut from that cloth. Yeah. Um, but really neat that we we were uh, we were, you know, addressed with the greatest standing ovation we could have yeah. ever gotten. It was great. Yeah. Um, they had been doing a lot of our stuff they'd seen online mm -hmm. or that we've sent them in the past, and they were very uh, familiar with it and they were very receptive to it. Um, I thought, you know, these are. Every single kid in that room is probably smarter than me. So I had to, you know, I knew they were going to soak up the information really good. We came up with a great presentation, and uh, I think they learned a lot. I think they're going to take away a lot. And I'm gl I think the, the best thing we did was put them in that room and let them understand why yeah. they had to do everything they were doing. And that's if it made sense to them, they'll do it. Yeah, exactly. And we uh, everything's super regimented there. You know, you got – Everything's blocked out time-wise, so we only had 30 minutes of presentation. Then we had uh, a little over an hour to run the whole team through testing, give them scores and outputs, and that's already back to them. Uh, and we explained, you know, what we do and, and how we do it, and the kids really – uh, I think, like you said, we're very receptive to what we are saying, and I think that this is going to have a good impact on all of their athletic uh, futures, you know what I mean, just from a speed and movement perspective and kind of shifting the paradigm, shifting the thoughts uh, to a different direction uh, in order to get them better. And, you know, like like you said, they already were familiar with a lot of what we do. We did a Zoom call with them, I guess, in March or April. We did a Zoom call, I guess. Yeah. Uh, and kids had notes and notes and notes written down from that. So we got in there, and they already had a decent idea of what we were going to talk about. And they just, just sat back, listened, asked some really good questions, and then uh, tested well. And I got a lot of – I'm sure you, I saw you were talking to a group of kids too after, but I was talking to – a lot of kids on the team about different nuances of, of drilling and we're going to have a program that's going to get over to them soon. We have a ball. They gave us a signed ball yeah, from the whole was, team, which is really cool. cool gear that you're wearing right there. And they're, they're going on to do, uh, this is why they said they, they actually brought us down is because they have a chance to do something that's only been done twice in NCAA history, which is go four straight championship wins uh, in the sprint football league, yeah. the CS, the CSFL. Yeah. And so again, if they, if they, win it they said they're bringing us back down yeah. and taking a picture with us because it was uh we would be part of that programming so it's a neat way i mean i don't think i would have received that reception from my high school 
which I'm in the Hall of Fame, or my college, which yeah. I'm in the Hall of Fame. I don't think I would have received that type of, uh, you know, a that was yeah, Dios uh, gesture. It was amazing, and mm-hmm. and uh, it's so much so that like I feel like. A better person since yeah. I've left there, you know. So like, there we rubbed off on them; they rubbed back on, mm-hmm. off on us. It was amazing. Went to dinner with some of the staff after yeah. a bunch of the coaches took us out. Um, young guys, yeah. young, young cats. Every, everyone real young, except for the one coach who's like, you know, yeah. G. Won't say how old he is because we don't know. <laughs> we don't know. We don't know. He looks young. Um, but anyway, yeah, amazing. And uh, again, we are at the summer. We're we're in a, an area of the summer where we really don't have anybody competing right now, so there's no real athletes of the month. But I will shout out some people out. All of our college kids like that are leaving. I know Sophia Curtis just got down to Virginia Tech. Mm-hmm. Um, we saw all those pictures. Trey, Tristan, um, back Dylan. To school Dylan's now. leaving pretty Dylan much tomorrow. Today, yeah, or um, today. Yeah, Dylan um, Bruchier or Bukari. And he's uh, going to Michigan. Yeah, Actually, he's leaving Tuesday, I think. But Carly, yeah. Carly Murphy, Swarthmore, she's going back. She told me. Last year, her first collegiate game, she scored twenty plus points and didn't even tell us. Yeah, I, I know. Like her dad was like, you know, she's not gonna say anything because she's so. She like, just told me today from from yeah. last year. Yeah, she she can ball. Yeah. Um, but anyway, we're uh, we're at a point uh, over the summer. I guess there's gonna be real no athletes of the week, but we will talk about what's going on in um, outside the facility. In that, you know, the athletes that are calling us in. I, I'm getting a couple of texts and calls from parents. I'm going. They feel so good they're mm-hmm. they look so clean their movements are so crisp um those are neat things that i look to and I, I look for in an athlete subjectively we look at measurements objectively yeah but when they say they feel like very crisp i know what that mm-hmm. that's like yeah that's like mid camp where you feel like you're you're hitting on all cylinders like you you understand your routes are really good or your your movements are really good and then also you are in like a crazy explosive shape yeah um there's a point at camp where at least you're used to get really tired and then you'll feel a little bit dull and you're not you're you're not you're not as explosive you may be crisp but you're not as explosive so right now I'm, i'm hearing that a lot and i just remember being at that point it was like right before our last preseason game in the NFL. I'd feel like I am ready, mm-hmm. <laughs> and, it's, and it's a marathon of a season. But yeah, yeah. But anyway, it's, it's cool. It's great to to be back and um, get into this the fall schedule. Fall schedule starts the third. Yeah, Tuesday. We're off Monday. Just so don't come on Monday. You're off. Everyone's on. This rarely do this. We're off Monday. Come back in on Tuesday. All classes three forty five five six fifteen every day. Um, that includes Tuesday and Thursday. We open that schedule back up to our older uh, athletes as well, which we had just that for the Jets, now called the Young Guns. That is a name change on the schedule. It'll say Jets. It's going to say Young Guns on there. Um, that's actually an old name I brought back. So um, a lot of people w- are familiar with the Young Guns program, and I change it just to kind of change it up. And I'm like, and people still call it that <laughs> from yeah. so long ago. So I'm like, let's just bring it back. Um, and then – yeah, that's the big announcement that we're off Monday and then the schedule change. But uh, look for some stuff on our Instagram from our uh, from the trip that we had. Yeah. If you see that, it, the, it was an amazing campus and it was uh, awesome. Stories to tell for a lifetime. Um, as far as training-wise goes, last week, want to talk about some of the stuff we got into? Yeah, this you know we're kind of rounding out our summer schedule. So we're just finishing up on hammering acceleration and vertical leap home. Same basic stuff. Like we are trying to increase his positive change of rate of speed, and we do that through a variety of different exercises, and we change up how we do them. You know, we have kneeling, we have hands behind the head, we have no hands, we have hands behind the back, we have all these different ways to run forward in order to trick the brain in order to output and adapt faster. Of course, we have the cords. That's another resistance factor that gets uh, factored in when the central nervous system is feeling what's going on. And we just preach home. Same message that we were preaching in Navy is like everything that you do is going to have an an adaptation. So if we are jogging all the time, you're going to adapt to jogging. If we do this all the time, you're going to do that, and you're going to adapt. And acceleration is no different. Initial force generation is no different. Center of mass management is no different. Max velocity is no different. So... At this point, we know how to do it. We know how to get the results, and we're just finishing up this summer program, and then we'll get back to our basics of true programming of where it's four separate days a week if you do all four days, but for everybody, it'll be three. And uh, I'm kind of excited to get back into that and to get back into a little bit of, I would say, uh, renovations kind of in here, Uh, getting some, extending some lanes. We're taking one lane away, actually. We're going to cut down the nine lanes 
um, so we have more space to be able to do lateral bounds um, in the facility now. So we're gonna that all go down in like the first week of September. Um, you know when we have some time, and um, it's a quick change, but it'll 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 give us some more dynamics. Yeah. Um, and then we'll just have to we, we do lose a lane. So some yeah. of the classes that had twenty, it's gonna be eighteen. Yeah. They're gonna have to shift around. So. Um, but anyway, yeah, that's I think that's the basic gist of it right now. Um, and the main and main thing is, remember, we're off. Yeah, we're off, off on Monday. Monday. Drill at home. Don't come in here Monday looking yeah. for us. I'm going to be, <laughs> I don't know, Not probably a, on the beach or something like that for the first time the whole summer. All right. So um, from Clemming Performance Method, this is the VNL Video Newsletter. See you next we're time. We're out.